Hey everyone, welcome to another daily cinephile vlog. Today we are reviewing the newest release of 2024. This is ISS. Uh, every time I hear ISS, I always uh, think of in-school suspension. That was what they would abbreviate it when we were in high school. In-school suspension was ISS. But anyway, International Space Station, which this movie it takes place on the International Space Station featuring three Russians, three Americans, and while they're hanging out, just having a good old time, doing their science, uh, down below they start to see explosions and they realize there's been a nuclear attack between both nations, and both nations have contacted the Russian side and the American side of the ISS, and they're telling them to take it over by any means necessary. The trailer had me intrigued. I saw the trailer way too many times. As well. It felt like every single movie in the last two months they were showing this trailer over and over again. Uh, but I was into the idea. I like the idea of a thriller being set in space. I really love Gravity. I think Gravity is great. Since then, it doesn't seem like I've seen another space movie like that, where it's from the perspective of an astronaut in space, and it's not necessarily sci-fi. It's just in space, modern times. It's been a while since I've seen a movie like that. A smaller cast, it all takes place in the space station, and uh, probably a lower budget movie, but it's fun to see how they uh, found their way around the lower budget. And uh, when they show planet Earth, special effects are great. When they have the explosions in the background, there's like this red atmosphere and, you know, there's something about it that's haunting and always lurking in the background. And the premise of the Americans taking on the Russians inside of a space station is, uh, it can be chilling and uh, there should be a thrill to it. And at first it's setting itself up really nicely. At an hour and a half, it gets things moving really fast. But after that, the movie takes a halt. It starts needlessly moving way slower than it should. I think the way they went about the whole idea of these two groups of astronauts going against one another uh, just doesn't pan out in the end. Instead, there's this long, drawn-out build-up to what's going to happen next, and the pacing fell off after the first act. I didn't believe some of the character motivations. Uh, these characters as scientists at times wasn't very believable either, which maybe would be fine if there was maybe like an action hero amongst some, some sort of final girl situation going on. It's not like people are being plucked out of the cast one by one. Things take a while to get there, and maybe it would be a slow burn, something kind of like Alien, you know, another movie that takes place in space. You know, it takes a while before things start actually happening, uh, but there's always this just uneasy tension going on in the background. This movie attempts that, but I don't think it works because some of the character dynamics just don't allow for that tension to work. A character return that's completely not believable. You have a different character involved in a twist in the story that... One, doesn't feel so much like a twist, and two, it leads to a, again, a drawn-out sequence, the finale, that I really don't think works. The idea of being stuck in a space station, just, I don't think it ever really occurs to anybody. It's never treated like we're secluded out in space. It's treated more like that's just a footnote on the real problem, which is, oh, you know, oh, America and Russia are now stuck in this war. And granted, it doesn't get too political. I like the fact that it's not framed from the perspective of the Americans and that, you know, the Americans win or something like that. The ending's a little more ambiguous than that. It's also a rushed ending. It's kind of an out of nowhere ending. But the idea of being stuck in a space station, uh, the horror of that never comes into play. Even some of the fighting scenes, they're fighting in zero gravity. I could think of scenes like Inception, you know, there was a quick moment in Inception when uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt is fighting some characters in that hallway and, you know, they're just spinning around the room holding one another. And that's like a lot of the action scenes in this movie. But when you see that over and over again, it starts to feel more awkward and there's not a whole lot of variety there. It's unfortunate because the movie started pretty good and it got me sucked in, but by the second act and especially the third act, things fall apart more and more. So uh, I give it two and a half out of five stars. Now, I, there was still stuff about it I liked. It's a smaller, quicker movie. You can appreciate the smaller cast and the smaller budget. But the story was unfortunately a bit of a mess.